Hi, my name is Martin Peltier. I'm an EST technology for Anglophone East Coast District. And today I'll show you how to create or uh, groups or distribution lists uh, from the Outlook app. And now I'm on the laptop uh, on Windows 10. And you will have to open the Outlook app, which is located in the bottom there. If you can't find it in the bottom, you might be ha you might have to uh, press the Windows here and try to find it from here. So I'm gonna press on the Outlook app. So now I'm in my emails. So the next thing you have to do, uh, you need to go into the bottom left. You have your mail there. Here you have your calendar. And then you have your contacts. So I'll click on the contacts. And now I have to go back to the top and I have to create a new contact group. I will name this contact group sample just for the example today. And I will add members. I'll add new members. So here I need to add a new member. So I'll press, I'll just display the name Peltier and I'll enter the email address. So as you see, I'm doing this, and what's great about this is you can send email uh, emails to people out of the organization, so Gmail, Yahoo, uh, iCloud, everything like that. So I'm gonna press OK. So now it tells me I already have that contact there. So I'm going to oh, update it. I'm going to add someone else just to do it again. It has a new email. I'm going to add a person called M, which is me again. Imagine those are parents. Then I'm gonna click OK. So now I have two people on in my contact group. You need to save it. So I'm gonna save and close. So the next step is to actually send your email to your uh, contact group. So to do that, you'll have to press on mail. So now I'm back in my emails. I'm gonna go back to the top and I'm going to click new email. So in my new email, instead of pressing 2, you're going to put your contact group here into BCC. So BCC means blank carbon copy. So the reason why you want to do that for the parents is, is that you don't want them to be able to see every recipient. Um, so you don't want the one parent to see another one, uh, another parent's email. So that way um, they only see their own emails. So I'm going to type in the sample and sample list should show up and then I'm going to test this and the last thing to do is to send it. That's it. Thanks for watching.